In today's video, just like I told you guys I'd do, we're going to be bringing our top five defensive players I'm most excited to see this season. We did the offensive players yesterday, so you can check that video out on the channel. Let's get straight into it. By the way, before I get into things, tomorrow is the start of mandatory mini camp, which means for three days in a row, we're going to be able to bring you practice videos. We're going to have media highlights, all sorts of stuff, especially on Mac Jones over the next three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So smash the like button if you're excited for that and you want me to bring some Mac Jones videos. Let's get straight into this one, though, and we're starting out with number five. Number five is going to be Kyle Van Noy. Kyle Van Noy was a part of the Patriots for four seasons between 2016 and 2019. Before his departure, he left to go play for the Miami Dolphins. With the Patriots, he played 51 games. He had four fumble returns, two interceptions, 16 sacks. He had 221 combined tackles, 21 tackles for a loss. He was a staple part of our defense, and the departure last year to the Dolphins was obviously a huge hit for us. Uh, with the Dolphins, he had 69 combined tackles, two forced fumbles. He had six sacks, two fumble returns, and zero interceptions. So he didn't get any interceptions. But he also had a great season last season with the Dolphins. Now he's returning to the Patriots this season. We're glad to have him back, and he is likely going to be a big part of this defense. He was so exciting and had so much energy when you would listen to the extra videos on the sideline with him. Uh, he was truly a patriot and he embraced our team and I'm so excited to have him back. He was actually really good with turnovers too. You know, he was able to force a lot of fumbles, return a lot of fumbles, and he got quite a few touchdowns, especially the year we had the boogeyman where he was a big part of that as well. So excited to have him back and Donta Hightower. That's kind of an honorable mention. Donta Hightower did not make the list uh, he's probably number six or number seven if I was to do that, but there's a few players I'm more excited for than Donta Hightower, one of which is Chase Winovich at number four, uh, just came off of a really good season, so he can't, he had 5.5 sacks in 2019, his rookie season, and then he had 5.5 sacks last year, and he had 48 combined tackles last year, 26 his rookie season, so those tackles actually have uh, ran up quite a bit, he had 12 quarterback hits, Last year in his rookie season, he had 10 quarterback hits. So he's been getting a little bit better. Uh, we do expect him to take another step in the right direction this year as well. Uh, a great player, and I feel like he's going to actually take a big leap this year. Ever since he's come into play in his rookie season, he's been a great player for us. So this is one of those examples of a player that has just been great right out of the gates. He's pretty much been great his whole career here with us on the Patriots so far. Very excited to see what he's going to bring this season. Here's our first rookie on the list, and actually our only rookie on the list. Number three, Christian Barmore. Very excited for him. He had two seasons at Alabama. Uh, he, he had 15 tackles for a loss with Alabama, 10 sacks total in those two seasons, and then 34 solo tackles. Very, very awesome. He had three forced fumbles also last season as well. So he's coming off of a really good career with Alabama, a huge player, physically huge, uh, and we're very excited to have him there at that defensive tackle position. I do expect him to play this season actually quite a bit, maybe even be the starting defensive tackle. That would not surprise me whatsoever either. Uh, this is a player that was supposed to go in the first round, apparently did not go in the first round. He went in the second round to us. We actually traded up to get him. So obviously, Bill Belichick really wanted him. Bill Belichick is also really good friends with Nick Saban, which was Christian Barmore's college coach. So you can kind of sense that maybe Bill Belichick knew something by talking to Nick Saban that, hey, this player is the real deal. He is a freak athlete, uh, and you'd be happy to have him. Same story with Mac Jones, uh, but we're talking about the defense today. Mac Jones was actually our number one offensive player we're most excited for. Again, you can check that video out. That was yesterday. Number two. Kyle Duggar, he actually had a pretty good rookie season. Let's just go through it. He started in seven games. He played in 14 separate games. So starting in seven games is really cool as well. He had 64 combined tackles. So he had a ton of tackles actually. And then he had one tackle for a loss. No turnovers, no forced fumbles, no fumble uh, returns, no interceptions. But he did have quite a bit of tackles and actually a lot of hard hits as well. I do have a highlight video for Kyle Duggar that is out there somewhere that you can check out. Very excited to see him play this season. Uh, he is 
he is 25. He's going to be 26 next year after this season. So he's he's 25 in 83 days. So I think that means he will be 25 the entire season this upcoming season. Uh, so obviously he's a little bit older. He came in as a 24-year-old rookie, which is a little older. That's the same age Chase Winovich was. Uh, but we're very excited to see what he can bring this season. Just a freak athlete, hard hitter, six foot one, two 217 pounds. He's one of those kind of almost hybrids. He could be a linebacker, but he's a very, very big, strong safety, just old school safety. Very excited to see him play. And I do actually expect him to get a little bit more of a starting role this season. I think they like playing him at that third safety position because he can come down into where the linebackers are and really just stuff the run. Uh, but also would not be surprised if maybe he gets some starting reps at that strong safety position. That would be really cool as well. I think preseason is going to tell a lot. You know, we'll be able to see the starting lineup and, and what they expect there. Last but not least, we have our number one player we're the most excited for this season on defense, J.C. Jackson. Now, you might be also thinking, Stephon Gilmore didn't make this list. I think Stephon Gilmore is the better of our two corners. Just purely he is better. But which player is going to be more exciting this season, do you think? The answer is J.C. Jackson, because nobody's going to throw Stephon Gilmore's way. Uh, that would be a bad decision. So J.C. Jackson is going to get a lot of those throws thrown his way. And J.C. Jackson is not bad either. So we have those two great cornerbacks. Uh, it almost, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Denver Broncos back in like 2015 when they had Aqib Tlaib and then also Chris Harris. Uh, that was, you know, when they had that duo of those great cornerbacks uh, that just they kind of worked off of each other great, and that was just a great duo there. And we have the same thing going on here with Stephon Gilmore and J.C. Jackson, if not maybe even more talented than the two in Denver were. Uh, last season, he had nine interceptions. The season before that, he had five. And then his rookie season, he had three. So you can tell it's, it's going up every single year. Do I expect him to have nine-plus interceptions? I think that's a lot to ask from somebody. I think he'll have five plus for sure, uh, but it would be amazing if he could get nine or more interceptions. That would just solidify him as just a pure interception machine. Uh, he started in 11 games last season. He got more playing time actually than expected because Stephon Gilmore did get injured for a portion of the season last season. So that did give J.C. Jackson some more uh, reps, but this season we're going to have both and actually that will benefit J.C. Jackson because they're not going to be throwing towards Stephon Gilmore. They're going to be throwing towards J.C. Jackson, who's going to be covering the number two wide receiver. Uh, so I think J.C. Jackson could have a really good season this year uh, if Stephon Gilmore is really healthy. And obviously, if J.C. Jackson's really healthy, if he's not healthy, how are you going to have a good season? So nine interceptions last season. That, that brings him. He has three years with the Patriots. He has 17 total interceptions. Uh, no pick sixes yet. That would be cool to see that this year. Uh, he has three fumble returns, which is cool. All of them coming from last season. Uh, and then he has 100 combined tackles over three seasons, which is actually a lot for a cornerback. Um, so he is just coming off of a great season, and he's been a player that has been progressing and getting better and better. This season he's 25, and he'll be turning 26 actually uh, pretty soon as well. So he's kind of entering into that phase where, you know, you're 26, 27. You're going from a young player to a veteran player. I'm looking for J.C. Jackson to have another great season this year, and he needs to prove it to this team that he can be a lockdown corner as well. Not only get those interceptions, but also just completely cover like Velcro those wide receivers because a choice is coming up likely in the next couple of seasons whether we're going to stick with Stephon Gilmore, who is getting older, or if J.C. Jackson is the future of that cornerback position. Very excited to see what J.C. Jackson and all of these players are going to bring this upcoming season. So let me know down below, do you agree with my list here? What would you switch? What would you add? What would you take away? Or would you keep it exactly the same? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to destroy the like button down below. That helps that YouTube algorithm out as I'm bringing more videos to this channel. I think we're on like day seven or eight here of of a upload streak and I don't plan on ending that anytime soon the only reason it would end is if I just can't make a video for some reason but I plan on keeping this streak alive guys so come on subscribe be a part of the journey as I am going to continue to pump out these videos there's not even games going on yet and I've been making daily videos about just off-season stuff imagine once the preseason starts imagine once uh training camp starts I mean let alone that's going to be exciting but preseason and then even regular season we have so much we have such a bright future ahead for this channel and so many cool videos on the way uh, over the coming months and over the whole year and, and hopefully future years as well. Come be a part of the journey. Subscribe today. Also, like the video. Leave a comment down below to help that YouTube algorithm out and just help grow this channel if you do enjoy the videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully.